President Trump's economy is roaring, and much of that success is thanks to his reversals of Obama-era regulations. So why aren't more Republicans pushing that money message on the campaign trail, and why are new numbers showing that Wall Street is backing Democrats ahead of the midterms. Here to help us make sense of it is Melissa Armo. She's the uh, owner of the Stock Swoosh LLC. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to have you with us. Good morning. So let's take a look. Let's begin with those Wall Street donation numbers. And it compares, what, 56.8 million in donations to Democrats with 33.4 million to Republicans. That's according to the Center for Responsive Politics. But you say even though these numbers are showing this, it's fake news. Fake, 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 fake. <laughs> I, when I saw the headlines, it was on Halloween. The Democrats are giving more money to the Republicans for the first time in 10 years. I said, fake news right there. Because it's when people don't read the article, they just look at the headline and say, oh, all of a sudden now, Wall Street, it's good for the market. They want the Democrats to win the House, to win Congress. That's not true at all. One of the reasons why they're giving money is because they think that the Democrats are going to win and they want people as allies. Oh, for example, okay. Maxine Waters is making maybe if the Democrats win would be the head of a finance committee mm -hmm. and they're going through all these regulations now. So the banks, mm -hmm. all these investment companies, they're worried. So let's take a look at some of those uh, Obama regulations, just a few that the president has rolled back. We have uh, slashing energy regulations. We have uh, tax cuts, record low unemployment, and then the Dow Jones industrial average, which is up 33%. So in terms of those specific uh, policies that have been rolled back, take us through those. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's fake news, because people on Wall Street know that Trump, as soon as, as Trump was elected, the market has run up every day since. Mm -hmm. So for as far as the stock market goes, as far as Wall Street people go, Trump has been great for the market. Trump's taken credit for it, and rightfully so. Anyone that's had a 401k, you've been invested in the Dow or the S&P, you've seen between a 30, 40 percent return. And you expect that to continue? If that's what I'm saying. Yes. Trump is still president no matter what happens with Congress. However, there could be gridlock and they could try to roll back some of these the deregulations that Trump has done. Mm -hmm. And the tax cuts is another big concern because what would happen going into 2019? Trump is trying to do this second round of tax cuts. Mm -hmm. What if we can't get that through? I think the market likes Trump. I think it, it's a fact. The market has rallied it would be ever interesting since Trump what, was elected. What the market does after midterms. If if the if Congress stays Republican, I think mm -hmm. you're going to see a big lift. If it doesn't, you might see some more volatility and selling and a shakeout. I still think we're going to hold the uptrend because ultimately Trump is still president for the next few years. However, I think there could be some gridlock and some volatility that could happen that could hurt the market. And that's not good for anyone. Even people that are Democratic have seen a growth in their 401ks. How can anyone say that's negative? And that's why I don't like to see that. And I say it's fake news because it it's, it's an assumption that if people don't read all of the story and know all the facts to think right. that Wall, well, people on Wall Street want the that market. That being the case, yeah. why don't we hear more Republicans out on the campaign trail being crystal clear as you are right now because about they're not market what is people, successful? Because they're not market people. Mm -hmm. One, they could be afraid to come out and say that, or two, they may not have all the information. We're just rolling back regulations in general. Why aren't we hearing more about that? and the success of that. I know. I don't know. I don't understand why. Are they afraid to come out and say these things because of all the negativity that's, uh, you know, people have been saying these things negatively about Trump? Mm -hmm. I don't know why. If you look at the facts of how things have changed, you can't, it, I mean, I just don't even under, it just doesn't even make any sense yeah, to me. You can't argue with you record can't low argue with the numbers. You, you can't argue with what the market's been doing. That's right. It's not just the market. You've had record numbers with unemployment, and also we have a new number out today. Mm -hmm. We'll see what it is. It's coming out at 830. You've had growth both GDP number has increased. And wages increasing And wages as well. increased. Yeah. How can you possibly say any of these things are negative? Right. And how can you possibly say that Wall Street's, you know, that want the Democrats to win? Because ultimately, they're looking to make money. Yeah. And so that's why their concern is that the Democrats are going to win, and then they're not going to have any allies there. And that's yeah. why they're starting All to right. get money now this last month and right before the well, election. We will see you bring up some great points. Thank you so much for joining us. Love it. Well, the time now is about six minutes until the top of the hour. From bad to worse, disgraced actress Heather Locklear facing some legal troubles again. Uh, who just slapped a lawsuit against the celebrity?